Well, it's Friday, and that means it's time for our weekend movie watch list. Joining us this morning, as always, to talk about all the big releases coming to the big and the small screens is film critic Tom Santilli. Tom, so good to see you this morning. Uh, this is uh, usually not so busy yeah. of, a, of a weekend, the first weekend of, of 2023, right? It's typically kind of slow, but we have some, some new stuff coming out. What do we have for us uh, this weekend? Yeah, you know, all the awards, uh, you know, they get all their movies in by, by the, you know, New Year's Eve so that they can qualify for all of the award shows. So they kind of just, you know, this is kind of the barren landscape of movies usually. Uh, but there are a couple new options this weekend. The first one uh, is, you know, I guess the biggest star power is A Man Called Otto. This is a film starring Tom Hanks. It's a remake of a Swedish film uh, from 2015 called A Man Called Ove. Uh, Tom Hanks plays a guy who's uh, try he's actually trying to kill himself, <laughs> but he keeps getting interrupted by his new neighbors. So it's a uh, it's a comedy. Uh, so uh, it it's not as good as the original, but definitely worth checking out. There's also a Western this uh, weekend. If uh, people are uh, Nicolas Cage fans, he stars in a Western called The Old Way. Uh, that's also on demand, but it's in theaters as well. Uh, one that's actually, I didn't see this one, but a movie called Megan is getting really good reviews right now. It's about, uh, you've probably seen the, the trailer for it. It's about like kind of like a cyborg doll. It's like a horror film. Uh, that one's out there. And then last, there's a small film called Corsage. That movie uh, opens, I know, in limited release. One of the theaters that it opens at is the Maple Theater in, in West Bloomfield. Uh, so it's kind of a, a spattering of smaller to mid-sized films this weekend. And, and admittedly, I hadn't seen the original of, you know, a, a man named Otto or, you know, whatever the, the Ove, other. Yep. Ove, yep. Ove, whatever the original was. But it seems like they just put Tom Hanks in a movie and you're, and you're like, he's going to carry this thing no matter. So, I mean, w was it good? You know, it was okay. I think if people didn't see the original, and I'm, I'm told uh, too uh, that the the original is on Netflix right now, so and it's definitely the superior movie. Uh, but I think if people haven't seen that movie, which is probably a lot of people, they might be okay with this one. Um, you know, Tom Hanks is everybody loves Tom Hanks. It's it's not believable that he's like this mean old man. You know, so it takes some time to get used to that. But yeah. I think it's going to be a crowd pleaser. Well, what do we have new for uh, that, that's on streaming this weekend too? Yeah, on streaming on Netflix, a movie called A Pale Blue Eye stars uh, Christian Bale. It's kind of like a detective uh, story involving Edgar Allan Poe that was in theaters. It's now on Netflix. And then also, I'm excited for this, uh, The Bad Batch Season 2 is on Disney Plus this weekend. That's the animated Star Wars series. It's a spinoff of Clone Wars. Uh, so the first two episodes are available now with new apps coming out every Wednesday. Man, I just got caught up in, like, uh, Obi-Wan. Uh, Obi Wan and then Andor. I just like just finally yeah. finished this. I, and I got a whole new thing to say. I got to get into too because I never really saw the Clone Wars. All right, and, and oh, this year, great. it's great. This year uh, with Star Wars, so you know you slot that name on it too. It's got to be good. <laughs> the true. time of year is uh, it's important for moviegoers to support their their local movie theaters that, that you mention all the yeah. time. Um, and you yes. always you mentioned to the Maple Theater earlier, and uh, they have a new concept that people can enjoy. What can you tell us about there uh, at, at the Maple Theater? Yeah, if you go to the Maple Theater right now, it's connected to, they just launched, uh, they're calling it the Maple Lounge, and this is an area where you can go before or after a movie, you can grab a drink, they have a full bar, uh, they have food, flatbreads, and you know pretzel bites, and some hot foods, but it's kind of a laid-back area uh, where you can discuss a movie, you know, before the movie or after the movie, uh, they, they have themed nights, they have trivia nights, they have happy hours on Thursdays, you know, 5.30 to 8.30, they have live music on the weekends, uh, so it's just kind of a cool place, and I, I wanted to tell people about it because I I feel like uh, it, you know that's it's a little bit different than just going to like a theater bar you know like it doesn't have the same setting the, there's couches and it's it's pretty cool environment so check that out next time you're out at the maple awesome yeah you got to support the movie theaters and there's really nothing like that experience to get out to go to the movies now they're adding more and more things to do too tom uh where can yeah. people go get more information i know it's award season two and important dates yeah. that people want to know where can people go to get all that information from you yeah, uh, everybody, Mark, January 15th is the Critics' Choice Awards. I vote in that group. Uh, that is on January 15th, Sunday. Uh, check your local listings for that uh, show. The Oscar nominations come out January 24th. And, of course, the uh, Oscars themselves are on ABC, on WXYZ, uh, on March the 12th. So mark all those dates down. You can go to movieshowplus.com for more info, all my reviews, and all that sort of stuff. All right, Tom, thank you so much. Great to see you again. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. You as well, Kevin. Thank you, man. Well, we're talking about the